Mythos. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Boys Reviews. I was out and about today in Lidl, that well-known supermarket of pure quality, and they had this on special offer for 99p. It's Mythos. This is a Greek beer, and uh, it is, well, it's a lager, basically, and uh, it's, uh, the, I think these are the second biggest brewery in uh, Greece currently. They're actually owned by Carlsberg, so all the um, like basically all the strings are being pulled by them. This beer um, is descended from a German beer from Frankfurt. I think it's called Henning Henning beer, and uh, they're based in Frankfurt. And uh, they were originally exporting stuff to Greece, and they decided to change it or change the name, so it was more local friendly and it's changed it they've changed it to mythos i think that's been going since 1997 so 20 odd years um it's mythos means myth literally in greek and they have a picture of a unicorn on the cap i don't know whether you can see that or not let me just get that in focus there it is you have got a picture of a unicorn on the cap you have got that as the label that is the back uh, it's 4.7%, 330 ml bottle. Um, not expecting much. It's owned by Carlsberg. They call it a tourist beer, so you know what that's going to be like. Um, yeah, just not much information on the back at all. Just 4.7%, 330 ml. Um, this is 5% in Greece, though. So, so they've toned down the um, alcohol, and I find this a lot with brewers. They they toned down the alcohol, especially coming into Europe because of the tariffs. I think anything over 5%, the tariffs go higher. That's why you see um, Stella at 4.9 over here, or 4.8. Originally it was 5.2, then they got started getting stung by all the taxes, so they've downed it, and I imagine that's why they've downed the alcohol limit on that. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get this open. Before I do, though, it's got a flashy cap. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a little ring pull tight cap which is new a new one on me i've not had a beer like this one before so oh look at that and that just opens up with so much ease there you go and it smells skunky i'll throw this in the collection yep oh it's got something else going on in it as well like burnt malt Almost smells like a dark beer. Let's get it in the glass and see what's going on. There's a little bit of skunkiness on there, but there's a lot of like malty, lager malt, pale malt aromas, and some citrus, some big lemon citrus on there. Mm, it doesn't smell as bad as I thought it was going to smell. Whoa, look how pale that is. They were not joking when they said it was just a pale lager. Now this is quite cold, I've had it in the fridge. There it is. That is a light straw colour. There is loads and loads of carbonation on that. One finger white foamy head. That smells a little bit better now. Yeah, just malt. A little bit of lemon citrus. Almost Budweiser like. Let's have a taste. Cheers. It's okay. There's a lot of malt in that. As I say, lager malt, bread, doughy type malt, some lemon citrus. There is some metallic notes to that. I can taste 
like a tinny style flavour to it. But altogether, having said that, it doesn't taste that bad. I, was, I really wasn't expecting much from this. 99 pence, um, Greek tourist lager, meant to be drunk, really cold, available in most of the seaside and tourist places in Greece. But this is not bad. Put it this way, I've tasted worse. It's got, it's got like a roasted malt, almost caramel type malt to it. And there's some bitterness on there as well, some hop bitterness. I'd love to know what hops they're using in that. Could be SARS hops. It's got that SARS type, Pilsner-ish type flavour to it. It's not bad. All things considered, and you've got to remember where you'd be drinking that. You'd be out on the piss of a night time, or you'd be sitting by a pool, burning yourself to death, giving yourself skin cancer. That would uh, that would go down just a treat. Oh, it's cold out of the fridge. I know there's um, a certain temperature where you can't taste anything. It just kills all the flavour. But that's... On its own merits, that isn't bad at all. What would I give that? I'd give it a seven out of 10. Now it's quite hard to find over here. As I say, I got that from Lidl, and they had absolutely loads of it, all on special offer. If you're out and about in, in, and you, you, you live near a Lidl, you want a cheap night out, get a few of them, or a cheap night in even, get a few of them, whack them in the fridge, make sure they're ice cold, and you won't go far wrong with that. It's not the worst lager I've tasted. So yeah, seven out of 10, and only because of the price, I'm gonna recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.